it in a ramp with our fat thing over here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we got a time here. Welcome back to Ivana Whitney's Kitchen. Yeah. We're going to do some lobsters today. Like, where do you lobsters? Yeah, same as well. Garlic lobsters. Garlic lobsters. Yeah, with and some of rum infused in it. You know? Jamaican yeah. rum, the Worthy Park Estate. Yeah. yeah. Worthy Park Silic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, one basin of lobster tail. We're going to cook some white rice. Yeah, you're going to cook because all the white rice though. Jamaican people belly long. This alone can't full belly, so we're going to cook some white rice. Yeah? yeah. Put the white rice with the mashed potato. Yeah. Yes, guys. And this is our ground seasoning over here. Mm -hmm. Natural seasoning, what? whatever you're using, and they blend. Yeah. Then we'll say my soup, my thing after well seasoned up when we add wheat. So we have with sweet pepper, yes, so garlic, scotch bonnet, scallion, and onion. And we're gonna add in some thyme and pimento too, but you're gonna see that later on in the video. That is it, guys. Yeah. So, yeah, man, I'm just gonna get started on my lobster. I don't know, so the lobster have to clean up, so we're gonna get started with that. And then yeah. season it up, and mommy's gonna get her rice on. Yeah. Guys, as you can see, me have my pot on this stove already. So, I'm going to light this stove and wash the rice and put it in. Yeah. Guys, we're going to light this stove now. Mm. Yeah. That is it. Pack the pan fire and I even on witness kitchen. Yeah, we're yeah. going to bubble some rice now. Yeah. Wow, that is it. So guys, we're going to get our rice washed now. Yeah. We say wash rice at least three times. Yes, guys. You know, even on witness kitchen, you know, I leave my vice behind the camera. Yeah. When we go up, we used to say rice a bird feeding, you know, guys. We couldn't, we never used to eat a woolly bite. Yeah, but no, yeah. like most rice now, they might have it flour. Yeah, but guys, one of the tricks in those days doing the rice, a little bit too expensive for the flour, was very cheap. Yeah, so cheap. <laughs> so, so, use, so we use it as an excuse, then, but then, um, oh, rice a bird feeding, sometimes we couldn't afford it. And, and true, most of the country people in there have their own food feed, like, Sweet potato, yeah, man. Something they better try them with the flour. Yeah, man. Many district yeah. guys rice stand a barrel and spoil in my days. The rice would not work with them, yeah. It's most expensive. Mm -hmm. All right, that is it, guys. Today is a rainy day. Let me see what you're going with over as usual. Yeah, I'm gonna watch your mommy go on with and then listen to her stories, you know? yeah. Guys, me, she's, she knows this personally. I'm not a fan of rice. I'm not a big fan of rice. Neither me, man. I flour every single day, honestly. Neither me, man. Rice a bird feeding for me. As a person, I yeah. eat like six dumplings in one sitting. Mommy and daddy can't tell them. Yeah, man, me. Yeah. He's a dumpling, man. Too. I just know him and son, him, him don't eat flour and none at all. I just pay rice. Mm. And I know him work with that. Yeah. Mm, so and one that I would pay flour. Flour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love flour. Yeah. yeah. And you know what, we should have actually did the Chinese dumplings and make some mm -hmm. stuff with chicken and shrimp. Yeah, man, we should yeah. start with them and like the one yeah, time. Yeah, so, guys, you know, stay out for them yeah, then. We had some lobsters, um, burger and so. Chicken mm -hmm. burger and then something. Yes, guys, and look yeah, out for so them coming up. We are going to start with some yeah. different, different something. Yeah. Put off some of the rice and flour. Yeah. Mm. Go in it now. And some pasta. Yeah. 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 I'm just gonna get started on cleaning up the lobsters. Yeah. As you guys know, I showed you multiple videos before. Mm -hmm. Start off by cutting this off. Yeah. Um, as you can see, these are already beheaded. So, mm -hmm. just gonna get going with cutting off my tail. Mm-hmm. And splitting grass in back same way. Yeah, and cut along mm -hmm. the back. Yeah. And the front. Yeah. And just open this up. Yeah. 
to get out your meat. Yeah. Quick and fast, see that guys? And don't forget yeah. the intestine guys. Yes guys. And guys, a fresh lobster boy, you see, you have to put them in the fridge, make them cold and the, and the yeah, shell easier to let go. Easy like, like that. You cannot get it out while it's fresh like yeah, this. Yeah, That's put, why you see so many people, put, they, yep. they tend to scald the lobster mm -hmm. or boil it. Yeah, but, we'll just but I don't like the taste of the meat when it's done like that. So that's why I just chill mine for a bit. In, then I get going. Yeah. To just put it in the fridge for a little while. Two hours in the fridge and it's good to go. Yeah, and you have some pieces, you know, even just the shell like this. They still use it in broth. Because you can make seafood while yeah. using that. If you're not having any lobster and you have the shells left over, yeah, man, and the head. Really give it a unique flavor. Yeah, man, and the head, guys. You know, so we do that, you know. I would want lobster head can soup, but you see that. Yes, guys. Because most of the things that we throw away, we still can get some nutrients out of them. Mm, mm -hmm. Most people don't know, you know. Yeah. A lot of the flavoring is just unique to lobster. Yeah. You'll get more rice in the pot now. Guys, it's a real time now, you know, they say where the cup, yeah. so where the fellow cup, we can't go out, and kind of suck my one, down for the beach, three as far as down, mm -hmm. let us come out of boat, yeah, and man, kind of suck Yeah, man, we go down to this man and the whole place of my shop, guys. We have to get to boat from the land, I pay a problem down there. Yeah. So, oh, many people don't know what we actually do. They remember some of them are coming to the TV and they were coming from the TV so they wouldn't know. Yeah. But that is actually a fisherman. So a lot of the time when you hear me say dad has gone out or he's at work, he's out on the sea. So a lot of the times whenever there's like a storm coming or just heavy rainfall in general, what we tend to have to do is to um, pull the boat onto the land. Mm -hmm. Because you'll see a rise in the waves. Yeah, I'm going to get my salt in the pot now. Yeah, man. And we'll, we'll lose one. Gmail and Mistress lose one boat already, guys. Yeah, when we go away and come back, no boat. <laughs> I don't know what happened to the boat. Be a piece. It's yeah, man. We use some pieces. We use some pieces of it. Yeah, man. But there's several boats mash up that time. Can't afford that again, guys. MD is done. This guy, so I'm going to get some butter in the pot, as you can see. Chiffon, Chiffon butter. Yeah. My favorite. Yeah, so. Guys, me love you, but. When we look, ship and butter get expensive, I get out of hand now. Yeah. Very expensive. Yeah. This is for $400, guys. Yeah, the, the, the smallest stuff. Yeah. yeah. So they're really expensive. Yeah. But it's it full of flavor, it's don't you know, guys? It's the yeah. pricing, though, because mm -hmm. the taste is yeah. there. Yeah, so I'm going to cover my rice now, mm -hmm. and I'll leave it to cook down. Now you're going to talk about ship and. I'm talking about ship and butter guys, look on that. See that? <laughs> See that guys? Bread, I'm the only man in here who just take up two slices of bread and eat with some ship and butter like that. So you see the bread here? Yeah, you see yeah. bread very often. I'm just yeah. stop one day. As, as, we the, as we see the butter guys, remember the bread. Same time. So in a couple of minutes from now, we're going to eat a sandwich, butter sandwich. <laughs> Bread and butter. Bread. Yeah, man. Just yeah, man. And if you guys knew that yeah. it, at that time, you guys were saying super terrible. Mm. I'm telling you, bread at the time was something I really loved. Yeah. But they never have any brown bread this morning. So, G my like me, she's full of white bread. Yeah. That is it, guys. You're not actually glad to say I didn't go out today. Hmm? Yeah. 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 Yeah man, yesterday man cook up some curry lobster and with crab. Um, and crab. With, uh, with white rice guys. <laughs> it's a rice man. Great dada. Tell her if you make with the fish today, she said no lobster she had so mm -hmm. she 
Yeah, do I love her? Mm. But that's the truth. Which one me cook better? You know, 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 you so my always left over for her any. She, she, she wonders where I get my recipes from half of the time, but a lot of the time I just come up with them off the top of my head. Mm. And when she tastes them, she says, oh my. When I see the dance, what she doing at the last video? Mm. That All is right. it. Yeah. Alright, so I have my lobster cleaned up already. I haven't cut it up as yet. I still left it into larger pieces like this. Um, reason being, it makes it much easier to wash at this point. And once the vinegar is added to it, it kind of um, changes the texture somewhat, so it makes it easier to cut up. So I'm just going to make sure I wash these properly, then I'm going to get started with cutting them up. Alright, so one more wash and we're good to go. Because seafood, it doesn't really take a lot of washing like other meats would. Alright guys, so when I'm cutting up my lobster, this is what I do. You cut straight down the center like this. You're going to have these little line segments along the lobster. You just cut along those and it will give you the exact piece size that you need. So these are the perfect sizing. For that dish. Yeah. That is it guys. Yes, guys. Mm -hmm. So, we are going with it. Yeah. Wally for lobsters in the area. <laughs> lobsters for days. Yeah. Yeah. Rain of fall, breeze of blow, chicken, but it's a do. Yeah. I don't get the old. Yeah, Jesus. I'm going to hear that from the primary school. Old times. Yeah. From the primary school. Old times. Yeah. I'm going to sing it. We're so good in the area, guys. And we're going to have a good time. We're going to sing it. Yeah, man. <laughs> Yeah, but before the road, they fix and used to come to my school. Good old days. I don't want to sleep on her back. Yeah. Yeah, I carried it for my back. Yeah. Yeah, as we say, how far away I come from it, guys. Yeah. Well far. Mm hmm. Not a dot. Yeah. And I feel like they used to sing when I go in time, you know? I really don't want Time for eat and drink. I'm happy with myself, guys. Yes guys, as we said, if, if family go through hell, but we stick together and we go through, you know? Yeah man. It's the greatest thing. Yeah man, give God thanks. We are here. Yeah. We are here. We Twin songs, say. Eh? Uh, Look you know, like we made it, mommy. You know, yeah. Just like we made it. Yeah. Look how far we come. We come. We come. We come. We come. We come. We Yeah. So guys, this is the end of the cooking up of lobster. We're mm -hmm. going to blend our natural season. Yeah. Yeah. This so when she blend it, you see she sprinkle it over the lobsters. Yeah. And then she rub it in. That is it. Yeah. See the guys, unprocessed season. No additive, no other man. You can trust these more than anything where you get in a bottle. Yeah, so I'm going to check in for my rice now, guys. It's okay if you can't turn off now, but I'll taste it. I love to taste my rice. You know, if it, it's perfect, yeah. Yeah, it can turn off now. So that is it for the rice, guys. Yeah, brother yeah. rice done. Brother rice, eh? That is it for brother rice. Yeah. Just like that. 
Whitney on Great Work for a man in Medipan Road, Manette. You're there. Any reason? You know the weather, yeah? You're there. Storm a come, you're hungry. You're hungry more, you know? You're hungry more. You're hungry more. You're hungry more. Yeah, so that is it, yeah. guys. You see how it's gone, guys? <coughs> I used to be the one to tell her this when I was younger. Now she will tell me this mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So I'm going to be blending my seasonings for this lobster dish. Um, like I said before, um, when I blend my seasoning, it depends on what type of dish I'm cooking. So if I particularly want the seasoning to kind of show up and give a certain dish color, I'll leave um, some seasonings unblended, or I'll just not blend them at all. But for this particular one, it's fine to blend them. Because I really want that flavor to get infused with my coconut milk. And like I mentioned earlier, it is coconut garlic with some rum. So you want a decent amount of garlic in this. Too. And you guys might be wondering why I don't just um, have my ground seasonings blended up and keep it in the fridge. But the recipe varies based on what I'm cooking, so that's why I just don't. I do it every single time when I'm cooking. I prefer to do it like this. So for this, I'm actually just going to add a small piece of it to the blend. We're gonna dice some to actually put on our. What that? The bell pepper. pepper? Yeah. So for the blend, we're just gonna use a small piece in that. So we wanna leave a little something for the, the lobster. So we're gonna add some thyme to it. And like I always say, guys, I break off the thyme leaves. I do not like having time sticks in my food. You guys have some restaurant and I have to do all the same time sticks in my food. Like. Yeah, man. You <laughs> so one of the times. Some people cut up the time in the thing and the thick joke in their mouth, fast in their throat and all them foolishness. I don't know where they get that from. But I, no flavor on the stick and no. the leaf of the flavor. Yeah, man, we taste the stick already. No flavor on the nice stick. I don't know what you're do it, but I guess everybody have them type of cooking. Mm -hmm. But trust me, guys, if, you do, if you've never done it like this before, try it. I can recommend it 100%. You'll get that nice flavor from the time, and no sticks will be in there just poking around. You know? I'm going to add some allspice, pimento. And then you have our vinegar. So like I said guys, you don't want to add too much liquid. Majority of these, I just blend them on the thicker side. Because I want to make sure that it actually, they can actually taste some fragments of the seasoning. I don't want it to be blended really? too thinly. what it should look like when you're finished. Yeah. We're just gonna pour this all over our lobster. We're actually gonna save some of this in the blender. These remnants that are left back. We're going to be adding water to this and putting it into the pot when it's time to cook this down. Now it's time to actually season up our lobster. Alright, so, like I said, powder seasoning of your choice always. Food is always about what you like 
and tailoring it to your taste. So you're seasoning for a meat seasoning to all purpose, to fish season. Mm -hmm. And I can use paprika or any one of them there. Yeah. Celery, salt, cumin, yeah. whatever, you, whatever you like really. So it's yeah. all about your preference. So you add black pepper a while ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is it guys. So I'm just gonna mix this around now and leave it to marinate. Yeah. And I'm telling you guys, you really need to try the seasoning things that I do. If you could smell this right now. Mm. Mm. Guys, you still far and smelly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. So like I said, we're gonna cover this and leave it to marinate for at least half an hour. Yeah. So we're gonna get back and we're gonna cook it. That is it. So I have my potatoes here guys. What I'm gonna do is just dice them up. So I can get them ready to go into the pot. I don't do them in too big of pieces. I just like to do them in about quarter inch slices to make it easier to boil. Alright, now we're finished, we're just gonna add these to our pot. So our pot is nice and ready. It should be heavily boiling when you're adding in your potatoes. Yeah. And you're just gonna cover this partially. You don't want to cover it all the way because it can flow over. So we're just gonna leave this to boil for a couple minutes and then we're gonna check back in. Alright, so I've lit my stove already. I'm just gonna be waiting for the water droplets to evaporate out of this. Then I'm gonna add in some butter. Then I'm gonna start browning my lobster. And this is the lobster after just half an hour of marination, guys. Look at how beautiful this looks. And I wish you guys could smell this too. Alright, so I'm just going to be adding in some butter, using the chiffon butter right here. And I actually use the back of my spoon, makes it easier to get off into the pot, guys. Alright, so I'm just rubbing this around in my pot. And the reason why I'm not using any oil, butter generally goes well with garlic, really, really well. And with lobster too. So yeah, this is the perfect amount. And you can't use any butter? I strongly prefer the chiffon butter. It's actually margarine. It's soft margarine, but it tastes like a good quality butter. It tastes similar to one. So you can use full fat butter if you wish. But if you want the margarine, you can use the chiffon. And I'm adding it into the pot. I should smell this right now. So this is looking really nice now guys. So we're just gonna be browning it. Pretty much stir frying it in our butter. Yeah, the cameraman smell it and all. Jeez, oh man. Ah. So I'm not gonna cover it as yet guys. Because I actually want a lot of the water to evaporate out. You're going to see it's starting to release some water. That's standard when you're cooking this amount of meat in the oil. So you just want it to release that water first. And you'll start to hear it sizzling afterwards. So I'm not covering my pot just yet. So I'm going to do a quick check on my potatoes. It's been quite a few minutes. And yeah. They're breaking up pretty easily. I'm going to give it like two more minutes and I'm gonna remove it from the flame because I don't want to overcook it but I also want it to be nice and soft guys still raining out there yeah still raining a little outside there heavily overcast no sunlight from morning yeah a lot of breeze that is it guys yeah so if you guys remember, earlier I saved some of the um, bell pepper because I actually am going to add some into my lobster while it's cooking up like that. Just for a bit of presentation and it gives it a really good flavor. 
so you, yeah, you pretty much want to slice them thin like this. And once that water starts to dry out, we're going to be adding them in pretty soon. We're also going to be adding in some potato to it. Because we really want to get that nice thickness and texture to it. And potatoes really contribute to that in food. So I don't know if you guys have ever noticed the difference in stews or any form of um, meat you're cooking with gravy. When you add potatoes, it really gives the gravy a nice texture. It's an Irish potato. Eventually, everyone can call it Irish potato. Mm. <laughs> so you have the different varieties uh, like the Yukon uh, Gold uh, yeah, yeah, and the rustic potatoes and all of that. Mm. But yeah, I generally yeah, just use the. Yeah. You know, it's a sweet potato can can use nice true same way, mm -hmm. like Irish. Yeah. Yeah, but it give a different, a sweetish taste. Like can use to give body in you know, a stews and curry dishes. You know, it would be perfect with though. You know, like those slightly barbecue sauce dishes. Yeah. Like no, you're talking exactly. You know, like sweet and sour. Yeah. Sour and yeah. Yeah, the sweet potato good for those. Yeah, because if you notice when, when um, a lot of places make the sweet and sour chicken and all of that, mm -hmm. the gravy is kind of thin. Yeah. They don't use enough cornstarch, mm -hmm. and cornstarch only gives you so much flavor. It's just for the thickness. Mm -hmm. If you add the potatoes instead, it yeah. will give you flavor and thickness. Yeah. And texture too. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm, I'm new we're pretty much done with this, and we're going to give this a stir now. I'm just going to go over to this. And you guys can see what I mean with the whole water releasing from it. Yeah. So this is why I haven't covered my pot as So when, it, when that evaporates now, then yeah. Mm-hmm. Let it let it brown for a bit. Yeah. I'm going to add those in and let it brown for a bit. Yeah. And then we can cover it and actually add it in our coconut milk. So my potatoes are well done now. So I'm just going to turn off the heat. Yeah. What I normally do is just pour the water off and mash my potatoes in the same pot. Oh, so then can go and cool them now. You're going, to, you're going to pour the water out first. Yeah, I don't think that I want it to cool. I want the potatoes to have some heat to them still. That's why I keep it in the same pot when I'm mashing it. Yeah. So the butter melts easier and you're going to be adding in some milk. So you want that temperature to really stay warm. That is it. This is a garlic rum lobster. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Garlic rum and coconut. In coconut sauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is it, guys. So majority of the water has evaporated out. So I'm just gonna be adding in these now to my pot. Mm. and we're gonna let this continue to cook and brown a bit more what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to add a, a bit more butter just to really get that nice color to it yeah mm. So you should start to see it getting a color similar to this. So this piece right here, you're just seeing it starting to get a little bit golden. Yeah. Okay, so that's exactly what we want. So we're going to continue cooking it until all the pieces look similar to that one. Then we're going to add in our coconut milk and our rum. So I'm actually rinsing the seasoning out of my blender. Yeah. I'm gonna pour that into my basin now that the meat was seasoned in. And I'm also gonna get all the seasoning out. No, no waste. Mm -hmm. No wasted around here. And what we're actually going to do is we're going to mix our coconut powder with that water right That here. is it. So everything is going to be blended up nicely and it's going to have a really awesome flavor to it. So you just pour this out. 
it's in there. Yeah. Cola and flavor release me well. Essence release. Alright, so you guys can see that these parts are getting that nice little brown color that I was talking about yeah, earlier. That yeah, that is it. Yeah. So now we're going to take our whisk and just whisk this together. Making sure we blend out our coconut milk very nicely. Yeah, now we can actually add this to our pot. We're going straight into that. Yeah. Rich. Mm-hmm. And that flavor is all there. Mm -hmm. Organize against the other right? Jesus! Man! Yeah. Now for the bomb. Yes, guys. This right here. Yeah. Where the part select? Don't make a carom. No, this is very strong, guys. It's 40% alcohol. Mm -hmm. Usually when you're cooking, the alcohol cooks off, but the flavor is still gonna be there. Mm -hmm. So, I'm only going to add about a cap full of this. Just to have that nice flavor without it being too overpowering. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna stir this up now. And we're going to be leaving this to cook for about seven minutes and then we're good to go. That is it. Yeah. Yes guys. Look at that inside there. Yeah. That is it. <laughs> but I love that in the room cannot juice yeah rum connat juice that is it guys yeah Hello, drink this so if you want to yeah know, can't know hardly it is. can't hardly call the name guys rum connat juice it in a yeah yeah and you can also mm -hmm. eat this with pasta guys you can mix yeah. in your pasta noodles with this that'll be one of the tastiest things and just stop yeah. it with some parmesan cheese then add some mozzarella yeah hey. Two slices of my brown bread now and dip in that there and good to go see me guys it smell nice mm -mm. Aye. guys me all the talking food are cooking about cheese and man <laughs> can't fight the quality at all Aye. Mm. that is it and you yeah. guys can use any rum of your choice for it the reason why i chose this one though is that it has a unique flavoring to it yeah. I don't know exactly how they process this, this uh, but it's really really good. Yeah, very nice. Where the park? Yeah, that is it. Yeah, man. All right, guys. So mom is ready to share now. And I notice as the food done, I see her, right? Yeah. Guys? But then I also made to tell you my belly a roll. Yeah. Made this one here. She called me. Yeah. If you can share. That is it. Yeah. So guys, mm. this is for Dream Island boss in Crave and I put No, I can no, hold it now. I'm not going to eat any hold it this time guys. Yeah. Trust me, I'm, I'm going, going to eat a lot. A bit. Just eat some bread and butter while I go. I'm going to eat a little bit guys. And drink some drinks. Yeah. That is it. Yeah, right. I'm no, you yeah, said so that no, one day taste here. One day taste is made to let's say I go back for more. This is my little plate. Yeah. I can't eat nothing either. Lick a bit. I'll save some for later. Yeah. Save, the best. save the best for last. Yeah, man, I'm just going to be eating my mashed potatoes. So yeah. And I can just finish that with the it. rice. Yeah. So, guys, we're going to the coconut lobsters now. Yeah, the lobster and the rum coconut sauce. Yeah. Yeah. Rum coconut garlic sauce. Yeah. Lobstein rum conat 
garlic sauce, guys. Yeah, so that is it. Whitney says she wants mashed potato with that. Yeah. yeah. yeah so mashed potato with share, go share. Yeah. 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 Can I see all this rich? Yeah. Whoa, cheese. Uh, <laughs> look at that, guys. Cheese and um, peas. Look at that. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Then look, guys. I hope I love salad. Come love salad in my pot. That is it, guys. Yeah. That yeah. is it. Yeah. We're going to put in our mashed potato. We're mm -hmm. going to take out our mashed potato now, guys. Yeah. Look how that looks now, okay? Yeah. Creamy. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. That is it. Yeah. Nice and creamy. It's yeah. blended out well. Yeah. It's mashed out really properly. So yeah. Mashed potato, too. Yeah. All right. You're that guy. I'm here. Yeah. I just look it, look funny. He takes try it and says she eat. Mashed potato too. So oh. so whatever mm -hmm. leaving you know the dream island mistress. Yeah. She said she not eat nothing. Yeah. She same on the ear so she not eat nothing. Yeah. That is it this. guys, yeah. Yeah, eat the mashed potato first, guys. Yeah. Let my baby full no me left back for my rice. That is it, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. yeah. I can't do Brooks, Brooks is a rice and flour. Eating time now as usual. Brooks Brooks is a rice and flour. I just belly full and tile it. You know what that means? <laughs> Rasta Roddy, big up yourself. You and the crew up there. Yeah, big up Brooks, your father Brooks. Yeah, man, we're going to link one at a time, you know? Yes, guys. One of my favorite YouTube channels that's for a long time, you know? Yeah. Brooks and family. You know, big up on yourself up there. Yeah, man, I just time. Yeah. Yes, guys, I take time out to big up Uncle Leroy. You know where you don't know yourself, you know. Bless up yourself, brother. Yeah. Yes, people, once again, Whitney's Kitchen. They ask for another expert opinion, so. I'll give them a taste test one day. Yeah. You have stuff. Yeah, even though I don't know what I'm cooking, guys, I just tell him to taste it. A real yeah. lobster man, yeah, this. No, no idea. What's so I'm not going to tell him what is in it. He's just going to taste it and tell you guys how it tastes. Alright, so. You have to start with the lobster and the best one. Mm -hmm. The best thing for the menu. So, let's see what happens. I want to type a run down, bro. I'm sure of that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright. That one here is very good. Mm -hmm. Very good one again with me. Mm -hmm. the the seasoning right mm -hmm. and the coconut strong. Mm -hmm. you know what? Mm -hmm. The people I know but I love coconut in product and food. Rub in it. It tastes really nice. Rub in there. Yeah, man, we're in the We're in the park. We're in the park. We're in the liquor business. We're in the park, special man. Yeah, so it's what, what garlic, what? rum, canat sauce. Rum, canat. Rum, rum and coconut. coconut. Mm -hmm. Rum, canat. This is good. Yeah. So, people. Mm -hmm. We did it again. Mm -hmm. yeah. this, this time, I have some people like crushed Irish mm -hmm. inside. Mm -hmm. you know, we didn't really love the rice. I love the rice. So. Mm -hmm. You know, you're good. Mashed potato. You're going to tell them already. <laughs> yeah, this is very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that guy's in a long time, you know. It's very mm -hmm. good. You used to love cook my, my lobster with bread label wine, so I know. Mm -hmm. When the alcohol taste in it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, man, I look and I wonder what they're eating. Alright, yeah. so, so we can try to take this before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll show you what you're going to do. He's going to take this plate, guys. Mm -hmm. So, people, this is very good. We shouldn't dare you with this. Whitney did it once more. Mm -hmm. I thought. Good job. Good job, Whitney. Mm -hmm. Right. So everybody take care. I'm going to make a move because I still I work from home. Do. Mm -hmm. So I'll get my dish and bring it around to work here and see if I can enjoy it while I'm going to work. So yeah. big up everybody. Yeah. That is it. I want to try for the long time. I want to go over this. Guys, I can wait for a week again. I want to go over this. Why? Yes, I can't stop. 
Yeah. Me think turn up the same way. Mm -hmm. Yup, then. The cave and tire are quite nice. Guys, the weather is still nice outside now. But with this kind of food, let it rain out there, man. Mm -hmm. Let the rain fall. Yeah? Right? Mm -hmm. I think guys, it's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a stuff. Guys, if you're in my farm, I'm not going to go to the Garlic lobster. No, no, garlic. This is a garlic lobster. And a rum coconut sauce. Guys, mm -hmm. you can't be better. Mm -hmm. This is it. I don't know what I mean and got too talk about the food because I cooked it mm -hmm. so I can't really say much because you know self praise is no recommendation mm -hmm. so I'm going to tell you that it's bad it's bad mm -hmm. right okay. and that mm -hmm. time again you know when I look home I'm going to go away at that boat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to eat this whole thing. Mm. Can't talk. Mm, it's a bad one. So wait, and then you want to eat fast. You guys wouldn't know, you know she eats very slow. You can't talk around. And what? Let's look at her. She almost finished before me. Mm -hmm. Right? So guys, you we'll have a wonderful day now. It's that time again. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to ask us to do the right thing. What if I share it, especially face to face? Each one tell the other one. Word them out. Better than the electronic way. Guys, so I have to go along and tell your co-worker about it. Tell your family member. Tell a stranger. Tell your shopkeeper. Tell your cashier, your favorite cashier at the supermarket. Tell your favorite bank teller, guys. Yeah. Tell your favorite teacher. Alright, okay, bless upon yourself. Until the next time, you wanna witness kitchen will be coming at you again. Mm -hmm. Peace out until the next one guys. That is it. Mm -hmm.